So in a nutshell, this is the Kamek Mantis UL. It's an ultralight backpacking hammock tent. Uh, it comes in ember orange, which is this color right here. Also comes in moss green and granite gray for the ultralight version. I believe the standard version comes in a couple other colors, additional colors. It's 120 inches long by 56 inches wide. Um, so it's a 10 foot hammock. It's not super wide, but it's also not narrow. It's a pretty standard hammock size. Um, I'm six foot tall, 190 pounds or so. I have no problem being comfortable in it. I fit fine. I get a nice flat diagonal lay. Um, I haven't had the chance to sleep in it yet, but I've slept in 10 foot hammocks before. Never really a problem for me. Um, maybe in the future they'll make it 11 feet. Who knows? But as is, it's not really an issue because it is definitely adequate for size for, I'd say, someone up to 6 foot 200 or so. Um, the rain fly is 136 inches long. It's tapered. So at the head end over here, it's uh, 88 inches wide. I believe it tapers down to somewhere around 70 to 75 inches at the foot end. Uh, so it's, you know, it tapers down. Um, altogether, this thing packs to two pounds, three ounces. It fits in the stuff sack, which is attached right here. Um, right, the carabiner comes out one end, everything slides in. It has a separator for the rain fly. I don't know if you can see but um so if you're you know if it gets wet you can pack it kind of separately it's water resistant I believe the the stuff sack it's not waterproof um, has a 300 pound capacity for this ultralight version the standard one is 500 pounds it's made out of Levitas 20d nylon diamond ripstop fabric so you don't actually see the diamond ripstop weave like you do in other Kamek hammocks like the older ones I know I got one of those but it's definitely really smooth and, and pretty comfortable too, so seems to work pretty well. The fly is 15D, nylon ripstop. Um, I haven't seam proofed it or seam sealed it. I think it'll be fine. Um, haven't tested it in the rain yet, but I'll definitely let you know. Uh, the hammock's pretty cool. It has four guy outs right on the hammock on the bug net. So this one right here, it has aluminum little hooks that attach to it. This is definitely reinforced on the bug net, which I'll get into in a minute. But it's cool because this right here is a bungee suspension, but it hooks up to your standard, you know, your line lock. Um, and it attaches to the same stakes that the rainfly does. As you can see on this side, I got them both set up, both going to that stake. Uh, one side to the hammock, one side to the rainfly. Um, and it does it at the foot end too. So another cool thing about the bug net is it's two-tone. This is black, so they say when you're laying under the stars, it makes it easier to see the sky. And this is gray. It's the Noceum bug mesh. Might be hard to see in the video, but it's two-toned, which is pretty cool. Um, it has a structural ridge line, which is awesome. I was worried when I ordered it because it says the ridge line is 110 inches, and I'm thinking, okay, if the ridge line's 110 and the hammock's 120, this thing's gonna be like laying in a banana, you know? But the ridge line actually goes beyond the hammock and gathered end and it goes up into the carabiner so i believe that's where the extra length is coming from it seems to be your standard it feels like an 83 percent you know hang that type of thing um so we'll pop in real quick and take it from there oh yeah just real quick too i got the uh the joey gear sling and my Kickstarter order too. This was an add-on. Uh, it says it can hold 60 pounds. I think it's 60, maybe it's 80, but I'm pretty sure it's 60. Either way, stuff sack is attached to the gear sling right here, so it's another little just pocket. I got my backpack in here. It's a 65 liter Osprey. Um, there's not really too much in it besides this hammock, but it's pretty cool, you know? Um, now let's take a look at the fire belly, which is a down uh, trail quilt. It's rated for 30 degrees and it has these six snaps it has three on each side this one's in the middle it has one on each end and they attach to these integrated loops on the hammock and so what you'll need though came with it is the under quilt conversion kit which is basically this right here and it attaches all the way up to the carabiner basically extends it it has these little cinch things right here so you can adjust it however you want to. I got mine set up pretty decent, I believe. So we'll see how it works. But uh, it's definitely a pretty cool 
little under quilt. Um, you can use it as a top quilt. You can make a foot box. Basically, you cinch one end and then you attach the snaps to each other half until halfway up or so. Um, and then the hammock itself has the integrated bug net, but you can detach it, uh, replace it with a winter barrier. But the zippers are pretty cool. So it has four zippers that go all the way around. So when we're trying to get in, we're going to do this one up a little ways, this one down a little ways. And as you can see, it stays out of the way because you got the guy outs, it's on the ridge line. And when you detach it, you have these little snaps up here. They snap into each other around the ridge line. And the zipper comes all the way to up here and goes as such. All right, cool. So now we're going to get in there, see what happens. All right, so now we're inside the hammock. I got this little add on. They call it a ridge line organizer. It's pretty cool. It slides right on. Um, I just keep it in here when I stuff the hammock in the sack. It's got a little pocket for your water. Stay hydrated, all that good stuff. It's got some zipper pockets. I think they're two separate ones. Maybe not. Haven't really tried it out yet, but that's pretty convenient. It also has these little pockets on the side right here, which I don't know if you can see, but that's a pocket. So you could put your phone in there or whatever, you know, handgun, pocket knife, whatever you got. This will go up here. Um, it's pretty hot in here, but I'm glad I got the bug net because it's pretty buggy here in Connecticut nowadays. And now you can really kind of see, so this is the black part of the bug net and it looks pretty, you can see up very well as compared to when you look through the sides, gray. Well, there's the difference. Nothing crazy, it's just a cool little touch they did. I like it, seems to be all right. Uh, I'm gonna turn around now and show you some of this action. So here we have the puffin pillow. Oh man, balancing act, give me a sec. So I'm laying backwards in the hammock. We got the puffin pillow, it's inflatable, it has a pillowcase, seems all right. And it attaches to the top, there's a little hook. They also sell a gear loft. Uh, I forgot who made it popular, but they have their own version at Kamek, which seems pretty cool. This pillow is awesome. They gave me an extra one in the package too, so pretty happy with that in case I pop one or something like that. Um, inside the bug net, you have these little hook points. So if you want to unzip it on one side and roll it up either side, you can do that, which seems to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, you know, this the material is really soft. Can't really complain about that. Smooth. I'm sweating in here with that fire belly. It's about 75 or 80 degrees. But um, here, I'll get out and we'll, we'll look at the rest of it. All right, so now we have it set up with the rain fly on it. And as you can see, it is a little wider at the head end, this side versus the foot end. Um, Definitely seems adequate. I got it hanging kind of high over it. I would, uh, if I was sleeping overnight in the rain, I'd probably bring it down a little or bring the hammock up, you know, something like that. But it does seem to be adequate for what it is. You know, I wouldn't want to go in a blizzard, but anything less than that, I think you'd be fine, realistically. So when we bring it around, you can see all that. And kind of like I said before, it has six stakes that you do all around the hammock, but the tie outs for the bug net attach to the same stake as the tie out for the rain fly. So that's pretty neat. And yeah. All right. And just so you can see the size of everything, uh, for reference, 65 liter backpack. So this is the Mantis packed up, uh, includes the stakes, six stakes that pack into the outside and tuck in there. It has the tent, I mean the hammock with the bug net. It's got the tarp, it's got the straps. All that fits in here. Puff and pillowcase, puff and pillow, Joey gear sling, and this is the fire belly, uh, trail quilt, under quilt, whatchamacallit. 
Um, just for reference, there's a water bottle. This is actually, it packs down pretty small. You could get it even smaller if you have a compression sack. It's about the size of a hammock gear econ um, underquilt. Just for reference, if you're familiar with that. It's, a, it's about the same size. This is a little shorter, but also a little wider. So, it's about the same volume. And there you have it. That's everything.